Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about higher order derivatives. And for each problem, we're going to find the indicated derivative with respect to x. So if I was given this problem, y equals 3x to the fifth power minus 2x. And we wanted to find the third derivative. Do the third power y dx to the third. Okay. Well, first thing I need to do is find the first derivative. So we have dy dx here. We use a power rule in this first part. 5 times 3 gave me that 15x to the fourth power. We subtract the x1 by 1 minus here. And the derivative of just 2x is just a 2. Okay? So right now we have our first derivative done. But we have two more to go. Okay? But that x did get uh, eliminated. Uh, the exponent from x to the first power 1 came down. x is 0. x is 0 is just 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So we find the second derivative here. So d the second power of y over dx squared is equal to, well, 15 times 4 is 60. So we have 60x to the third power. And then the derivative of 2 is just 0. So if you want, you can write the minus 0 there. Usually you just get rid of it, but I'll put it there for this problem here. But the next step will just be gone. So now we have uh, d to the second power of y over dx squared is equal to 60x to the third power. And that's our second derivative, but we need to find the third derivative. So we go to d to the third power y over dx to the third, okay? And 60 times 3 is uh, 180. So we have 180x squared, and that is our final answer. That is our third derivative. The zero, don't, it's basically gone. Don't worry about it. And so our third derivative here is equal to 180x squared. So let's recap. We're given y equals 3x to the fifth power minus 2x, and we need to find the third derivative. <coughs> So I take the first derivative, and that gave me my 15x to the fourth power minus 2 using the power rule. Then again, I use the power rule a second time to get 60x to the third power minus 0, right? And they don't really need that minus 0, I can just leave it blank. Okay, but again, the exponents come down, multiply by what's up front, we subtract the exponent by 1. Lastly, we do the power rule uh, not two, but three times, and we have the third derivative here, the third power rule uh, being used, and we have 180x squared by bringing 3 times 60 is 180, and the exponent gets subtracted by 1. So our final answer here is d to the third power y over dx to the third is equal to 180x squared.